you know, to speak more on your fashion brand uh, in that sense too, because yeah. you have like a couple fashion brands that you works with. Like now you have like the Hater Snapback North America LTD brand. I don't know if that's uh, still up and running uh, for a bit soon. Um, no. So what I did was when I came back from Taipei, I came back in 2013. Not sure. Um, this DJ friend of mine in Taiwan told me, hey man, I'm making this brand. I want you to take it to the US. And I was like, uh, I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know what to do. And he said, well, you have a lot of contacts in the music industry. So maybe you could get people to wear it or whatever. Yeah. That ended up turning into five years of me going to trade shows, doing all kinds of stuff. I went to Milan. I've been to Brazil, like a whole bunch of stuff. We blew up the brand and I just got kind of tired of it. And I wanted to go back to music. I got like a couple of partners that were doing it with me. We got into, I think, more than 300 stores. We had a flagship store in Jeddah. In, uh, we had one in Brazil. Obviously, we had like 10 in Asia. And I just kind of got, I made good money. I'm not like complaining, yeah. but it took me away from music. Yeah. And I, I kind of just, I didn't want to do it anymore. So yeah. I handed it back to the guys in Taipei and I said, I kind of want to step away. But uh, around the middle of the pandemic, they sold the brand to somebody else. And uh, I don't know what's happening. Uh, but sure. the same guy who founded the brand now wants to start a new brand. <laughs> and he contacted yeah. me again. But what I did instead of me just running it, I'm getting one of my partners in Montreal uh, true, true. to handle it for yeah. me. And maybe, you know, just let him make more of the money this time. And kind of, I'll just kind of step back and just yeah. keep doing music. Yeah, no, I know what you yeah. mean, man. And, you know, getting into fashion design too, because I think we already talked about the hater snapback uh, for a bit too. Like, how did you get into get into it? And, you know, tell me more about like the one that you've uh, did, like just like previously that you mentioned before and like what you have uh, going on uh, right now with fashion. With fashion, I don't have that much. Just that new brand. Um, we haven't officially launched it yet because I feel the real tail mar retail market right now is a little rough. I'm going to wait until I think things seem more optimistic yeah. before I even think about that. As for Hater, um, I think the biggest achievements we have was the amount of stores we got into oh, and the amount of celebrities we got. We had like Nicki Minaj, Rihanna. There's some shocking people that we had like promote our brand. Crazy stories. Like you would be shocked. Like <laughs> you wouldn't believe this. Uh, in 2000, I think it was 2016, we did a trade show and um, we were distributing to this uh, a couple of stores in Texas. And one of the guys um affiliated with that store was actually george floyd oh wow and he's in a scarface video i don't know if you know you know he's from texas not from minneapolis yeah. originally yeah he's in a scarface video in the background of the video and he's wearing our hats and he's the only one wearing it i actually shipped him that hat so it was creepy when yeah when i i didn't even realize yeah. it one of my partners in denver he he called me up and he said hey man you know who that guy is right yeah. and i was like no i'm like i don't know anybody in minnesota and he's like, that's actually George Floyd. And he's like, he's like, you met him. You sent him hats. Couldn't actually, believe it. Yeah, it's crazy. And yeah. I don't Couldn't know. believe it. Yeah. Like, how did you feel about that situation too? Like on him, you know, passing away and, you know. Like, very sad. Oh, very, very sad. Yeah. I think the whole thing, the whole thing, the whole situation is yeah. sad. No. I know what you mean, man. And, and it was, it felt like odd because I was sort of connected to yeah. him. That's why it was odd. Yeah. But for months, I didn't know that. That's why yeah. it was very strange. Because when I saw, my friend sent me the video, and I looked at the video, I was like, oh my God. And then I saw the comments on YouTube too, and yeah, yeah. sure enough, it was him. Yeah. I was like, I can't believe this. Yeah, yeah. no, because it's like a weird, like, coincidence. Very weird. Yeah. Very, very weird. And yeah. I don't know if, like, the family, like, ever tried contacting you about the situation too? Or? I don't want to use that for promo. It was one of those things, like, I didn't even put it out. I, di I didn't put it on social media oh, or nothing. Sure, sure. No. I just felt strange, strange about the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. No, no worries, man. Yeah. Uh, but um, with fashion design too, like what was like that whole like first introduction to doing uh, fashion design too? Because we've talked about like the brands and everything else too. But mm -hmm. uh, to get into your story on like fashion design, like how did you uh, get into it? My mom actually is from that industry. That's kind of why it was easy for me. She's a tailor and she used to work for a lot of designers locally and internationally. So she was a sample maker. And uh, she kind of like, I've, I've been exposed to that since I was a little kid. No, true. That is her main business. True, true. So and like you know, with fashion yeah. uh, right now, like it is pretty interesting to see like what's going on in fashion too. So mm -hmm. like even uh, with the boots, like I think that was like the latest thing 
that everyone talked about in, like in fashion too. Like you notice like the red boots that people were wearing and all that too. So um, yeah, those <laughs> those yeah. Astro Boy boots. Yeah, 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 yeah man. But like fashion uh, today, uh, right now, like how do you feel about it? And do you feel like it's had a good start right now, or do you feel like um, are- streetwear? I think is dead. To be honest, oh. I I know a lot of people will might not agree with me, but I think it's dead. I think right now vintage is really big and um, repurposed clothes. Oh, true, true. Just people like. Taking vintage stuff and repurposing it. Like what I'm wearing right now. Oh, this is actually <laughs> repurposed. Yeah, it's a nice fit. You know so. Yeah, this is from a brand in uh, Philadelphia. Oh, Burning true. Guitars is one of my boys. Yeah. I actually met him at a trade show oh, uh, in Vegas. Yeah. And um, these are all one of a kind. Everything oh, they true. make is just one-offs. So yeah. I, I I fell in love with all their stuff. Yeah. 